into the heart of someone we all know as Judas. A man beckoned by the Son of God to follow him. Follow him like, like Twitter was reacting. Paralyzed his eyes on the heels of a God who had placed himself on the inside of a woman's stomach that he intricately created himself eternities before birth even existed. Judas walked with Jesus. I picture him Jewish. Cold colored hair, dark brown eyes, twinkling with his teeth, heart beating with wonder towards his Christ, whose features were just like his. Could this man really be God? Is what I'm sure played this dark and eclipsed mind and watched. Watch, watch Mary's 30-something-year-old son shovel the remains of rock and death into his hands called dirt. Bring forth spit from the same mouth that lit every spot in the galaxy. He mixed them both. Painted them into the pupils of a man whose eyes were only acquainted with the canvas of black blind from birth. God was the first thing that man ever saw. Last name was scary. First name Judas stood front row center to a concert of God's glory. I wonder if he saw himself in a scenario before. Him. Maybe not, but he continued to watch as Christ walked towards the cave of a man who had been dead for almost a week with a heart that had not beat for four whole days. Ears that would only work at the sound of something greater than death. Lazarus, come out! Jesus yelled the authority of the Alpha and Omega branded to his breath. A fraternity of power coming forth from the same voice that spoke everything into existence when nothing that existed just him, Judas, saw a corpse come to life. A dead heart beat to the soundtrack of a resurrection, the metaphor for why Jesus came right in front of his eyes. If I could watch him think, I don't think he saw just yet, and he watched. As a year's salary of oil was worshipped unto the Son of Man to me, Mary used her hair like a wash rag to wipe the foot of her Lord, and I wonder if Jesus was confused. Confused that why this woman would give up so much trust for Jesus, could it be that her reverence was a sign that she might have seen as Nazarene called Christ for what he was worth? the guards, rather the man he'd identified with kiss, to prepare him for a death that only the world deserved, unaware of the resurrection that only the elect would share, and if I could, I would assume that he looked into his palms, followed his fingerprints into the thirty pieces of silver laying dead in his hands with joy, tap dancing in the cemetery of his soul, ghost of destruction rising up in his bones, those dark brown eyes staring the receipt for what he just gave up, and I bet he didn't even see what he thought God was worth. Nothing. Betrayal is easy when you kiss God by a heart that is only loyal to itself. As Jesus is being led away into the cup of God's wrath, Judas crawled his head inside of the noose, and the truth is, I know he was sorry. His conscience made him conscious of the fact that he had betrayed an innocent man with the blindness in his mind and drive the navigation in his eyes to find that same man that was able to forgive him of all of his sins so he made suicide his savior as I watched the rope hug his throat I just wish I could have let him fall my eyes so that he could see see that he was a blind man that needed the hands of Jesus to rapture the scales from his brown eyes like braille praise dance on God's fingertips let him rip my mind in hopes that he would have understood that he was a Lazarus by nature, dead, a corpse with breast, sleep in a cave of sin, desperate for life. He walked with the one person who could save him from the pitch black of night underneath his eyelids for three old years, but try. Try asking the blind man to lift his eyes toward the sky and tell you the color of the sun. If he can't see, he'll never understand his need for light, so darkness will be all that he knows. As I watched the body of Lazarus laid, Dangling dead from the tree, reminiscent of the piece of fruit that burst its inherent blindness in his genes, I actually saw myself. Thank you. Thank you.